my name is Tony Bartlett, and I'm a website developer for a company called Indigo Herbs. Um, they're an e-commerce company uh, based in Glastonbury from Somerset. Um, well, I came to Drupal Camp London because last year I went to Brighton, and a lot of the, them lot come up to London, I think. Um, so I wanted to see some people I met down there, and I understand that I think Drupal Camp London is like the biggest one, probably in England. Um, so I want to sort of be at more Drupal events and sort of do more networking and meet more people. Um, a lot of the talks have been really interesting because I've just started like doing more Drupal 8 stuff now. Um, and obviously a lot of talks are now ranging around Drupal 8. Um, so it is mainly sort of learning code, uh, meeting people, going to sort of social events in the evenings and being absolutely knackered the next day. Uh, we came down last or yesterday uh, up from Somerset. Um, I didn't go to the CXO day just because I didn't really feel like it was insanely relevant to myself because I'm a developer. Um, although I think my boss has been to one of them before, um, so he finds it really obviously really good to push business in Drupal. Uh, so, yeah, mainly a lot of, um, I actually organised uh, Drupal Somerset, which is uh, our local like, sort of group in Somerset, and I think f like four or five of us are here, um, and I think I probably will come to Drupal Camp London again, and it's been really good so far. So one of the main reasons as well that me and my boss from Indigo Herbs came here was to sp uh, speak to Matt. Glamen or Glamen? Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to speak to Matt about Drupal Commerce um, because we know that Drupal Commerce 2 has become a long way from sort of Drupal 7. Mm -hmm. um, we do actually use uh, Drupal Commerce for our trade website. So we use Ingenuity for the retail and trade website we use Drupal Commerce. Um, and I've spoken to Matt about a lot of the um, back end of Drupal Commerce and he's like really sort of on board with taking ideas. Um, so we're, we're really passionate about commerce and like sort of forwarding it and like trying to help in any way we can. Um, I'd really like to sort of know more so I can start contributing. Um, but sort of my main passion really is that Drupal Commerce can sort of beat all the other platforms. It's pretty amazing really because when I met sort of I met Ryan and Matt in person at DrupalCon Dublin. Um, and it's really crazy to think they are actually human. Um, it's really silly, isn't it? Because you kind of meet them and think, oh, they're celebrities. But they're obviously mm -hmm. really just, they just want to speak to you and they want to know what your ideas are. They really like respect everyone, no matter where you are in the community. It, I think it becomes an illusion and until you meet them. It's just like this elusive thing. You don't think you can take part in commerce. And then they just say to you, well, come along and do issue queues. And I did actually like have my first, um, What's it called when you do an issue queue and so they credit you? So I'd have yeah. my, I had my first credit on the Drupal com Commerce issue queue because Ryan gave it to me and I was really excited. Um, so that was all because they basically said to me, oh yeah, just get involved. So yeah, it's really cool. <laughs>